today first concept static properties and non static properties first concept very very important concept if you understand today concept you can play with java otherwise java can play with you okay. static properties static properties and cs3 yes wait now you can get it ah, yes 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 yeah today first concept to static properties and non static properties static properties non static properties what do you mean by static madam uh, not movable or uh, where they be like that only uh, you cannot change them yes they are not flexible yes so here here for example here static means common static means okay. common in java static means common so wherever you go there are two categories of people they, wherever you go there are two categories of people one is boys other one is girls there are two categories okay. category is nothing but it is a class there are two classes of people one is boy class other one is girl class for example i am taking one boy class for example i am taking one boy class i'm taking one boy class all the boys having some common properties that properties is called static properties static means common all the boys having some okay. common properties that properties is called static properties so what are the properties all the boys commonly having madam they are very mischievous mm, next uh they are very active strong mm. Yeah, always busy playing. <laughs> okay, I will tell you <laughs> number of ants. Oh, no, 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 this number of ants. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. All are those number of ants. Ah, okay. uh, number of ants. For example, I am taking number of okay. legs. I am taking okay. number of ants and number of legs. So all the bias not having some common properties. That properties is called non-static properties. All the bias not having commonly. That properties is called non-static properties. What are the properties? All the bias not having commonly. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> name. Name is a non-static property. Uh, oh, okay. All have unique names. Okay. Yes. Color. Color property. Okay. Color is a okay. non-static property. Okay, right. All the boys commonly do some actions. So that the actions is called static actions. All the boys okay. commonly do some actions. So that the actions is called static actions. What are the actions all the boys commonly do? Hmm. Oh God, I really don't know much. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Breathe is, is a common. Breathe is a common property. Oh, oh. Common action. Okay. Eat. Uh, eat. Okay. Every boy will do. Breathe and mm -hmm. sleep. Sleep is okay. a common action for all the boys. And all the boys okay. not do commonly. That the actions is called non-static actions. So, what are the actions all the boys not do commonly? Drink and smoke. For example, drink and smoke. Oh, okay. So, using these properties, today we can write the Java program. Today we can write the Java program. Okay, right. Before going to Java, first of all, you should know three things. You should know three things. Mm -hmm. Compulsory, you should remember three things. If you want to learn Java, if you want to learn Java, so you should know three things. You should know three things. Okay. If you know these three things, you can work with Java very comfortably. You should know three things. Okay. first point if you want to store the non static stuff if you want to store the non static stuff compulsory memory location required okay i'm talking about only non static If you want to store the non-static stuff, compulsory memory location required. If you want to store the non-static stuff, stuff means properties as well as actions. So, if you want to store the non-static stuff, compulsory memory location required. That is the first point. This is the memory location. For example, I am taking one memory location. So, we have non-static stuff. Non-static properties is one is name. 
name is a property and color is a property if it is property like we can write only with semicolon so if it is okay. functions we can write drink function bracket required so smoke okay. this is the first point if okay. you want to store the non static stuff for compulsory memory location required mm -hmm. second point if you want add anything to add anything to object memory location if you want to add anything to object memory location if you want to add anything to object memory location mm -hmm. comma if you want get anything from memory location reference name required okay if you want to add anything to object memory location if you want get anything from object memory location compulsory reference name required I'm talking about only okay. non-static only. I'm talking about only non-static. If you want to add anything okay. to object memory location, if you want to get anything from object memory location, compulsory reference name required. Third point. Okay. Third point. If it is non-static, we should create the object creation. We, we should create the object creation. Object creation syntax is class name, reference name, equal to new class name class name reference name equal to new class name class name for example i am taking boy reference name b1 equal to new boy class name reference name equal to new class name for example i am taking class name boy reference name as your wish i am taking b1 equal to new boy so this is only for non static if it is non static we need to create the object we need to create the object so if it is okay. non static okay. compulsory we should create the object so i'm not object talking okay. about static i'm talking about only non static if it non -static, is okay. uh, if it is non static compulsory we should create the object class name reference okay. name equal to new class name for example class name is akil akil a1 equal to new akil class name hyderabad hyderabad h1 equal to new hyderabad class name is india india i1 equal to new india class name is java java j1 equal to new java so just we should create the object creation so object using this, creation. yes if it is only non static if it is only non static okay all right mm -hmm. so first of all if you want to learn java first of all we should know how to create project and package and class we discussed already okay. yes 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 so now go to java slowly i will teach you it's very easy So, if you want to work with Java, first of all, we should create one project and one package and a class. Or directly, we can create class also. One second, I will show you. So, today onwards, the practice requirement. Already, I have sent you software. Just install it. Just while installing Java, internet connection required. Only two minutes. Within two minutes, you can install Java. Java supports all operating yeah. systems. And Eclipse each and every time, okay. we should run. Okay. Right. First, go to Project Explorer, take the new project, Java project, click on next. And giving project name is Java, Java 1. Click on finish. I created one project. After creating project, we can get two folders. One is SRC, second one is JRE. After mm -hmm. creating project we can get to two folders one is src second jre right click on src directly we can take the new class whenever you if you take yes. class directly it will take under default package default, yeah. 
so, public static void. Yeah, just to, if you want main method, just keep the mark public static void menu, click on finish. Mm -hmm. So you know, these are the unwanted statements, no need. So this is also commented, no need. So if you want to increase the text integral text size, just go to Windows. Okay. Every day I will show you just long process something. Okay. Go to Windows, okay. preferences, general, appearance, color and fonts. So we can increase the font size. Actually it will be 10 no. Okay. I'm keeping 14 no. Click on OK. okay. Apply. OK. Now <laughs> So first of all, how to declare static properties? So only properties, okay. only for general knowledge purpose we are discussing. So how to declare static properties? So under class, whatever we are uh, writing, that is the declaration part. We will declare the function here only. We can call from main okay. method. We can call from main method. So if okay. you want, okay. how to declare static properties? Only for just for general knowledge purpose we are discussing public okay. number of hands, number of legs. So static. Mm -hmm. So if it is static, compulsory we should write static. Number of hands, public static. Okay, data type, number of hands, number of legs. Which data type I should take? Um, number of integer. Ah, integer only. Okay, if you want to store. No. Ah, yes, integer. So public static uh -huh. int number of hands. Next public static int number of legs without space we should write or we can use underscore also okay right next name and color non static properties how to declare non static properties public if it is static we should mention static if it is non static no need to mention anything string Name public string color okay. number of hands and the number of legs and the name and color. If it is static, we should mention static. If it is non static, no need to mention anything. So, no public okay. name is a string, so that's the reason I'm giving mm -hmm. string. So when I was writing string, okay. it should be cap. Color also string. So that's the reason I gave okay. string. This is okay. this stuff for this is for only general knowledge. Only GK. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, leave it. Next, how to write functions? So public breathe and sleep static functions. So public mm -hmm. static public static wide why we are writing wide I will explain you so next breathe okay. breathe is a function if it is function function bracket required open the curling bracket and write the function body whatever you want you can write it S Y S O control space breathe breathing something breathing I am writing whatever you want you can write it okay. that's your choice that is function okay. body so public okay. Always we will use public. Why we are using public? I will explain you later. Static function. Mm -hmm. So static void. If it is function compulsory, we should write void. Without void, also we can write. So why we are writing void? I will explain you later. So function name is breathe. Function bracket, curling bracket. This is the function body. Whatever you are writing, this is the function body. Mm -hmm. Right. Breathe is over. Next we have. Sleep. Mm -hmm. Sleeping. Sleeping. Mm -hmm. Next, non-static. Drink and smoke. Mm -hmm. So, if it is non-static, just, just remove static. Mm -hmm. Okay. Drink. Drinking. Next to smoke, remove static, mm -hmm. smoke, 
smoking right so i am writing four functions so two is static function two is non static functions two is static two is non static right so now we can call from main method breathe directly i can call why because it is a static and sleep also directly i can call why because it is also static so if i now drink if i write drink automatically it will show error why because it is a non static if it is a non static non -stat if it is non static if it is non static what we need to do uh, we need to create the object yeah, to object yeah object creation yeah so how to create the object to class name boy reference name b1 equal to new boy class yeah. name reference name equal to new class name mm. so so reference is b1 b1 dot drink b1 dot smoke okay b1 dot drink and b1 dot smoke so okay if it is static directly we can write in the main method if it is non static we need to create the object only one thing you should okay. remember only one thing okay. if it is static directly we can call from main method if it is non static we need to create the object okay without discussing this concept directly i can say i can complete within one second that is with if it is static directly we can write in the main method if it is non static we should create the object only one thing okay mm -hmm. so if it is static directly we can write we can call from main method if it is non static we should create the object that reference we should give here the reference is b1 dot drink b1 dot smoke okay save click on run so whatever you mentioned that logic it will print to breathing sleeping drinking smoking breathing sleeping drinking oh. smoking so here you okay. should remember okay. using a b c d also we can we can learn this concept to a a b is both are static mm -hmm. c D. D. Yeah, directly I can write. B one dot. Okay. B would B also I can write directly. Mm -hmm. C I can't write. Compulsory we should create the object. Yeah. Object yeah. D. So A B C D also. A B I am taking static. So if it is static directly we can write in the main method. If it is non-static mm -hmm. we should create the object. So boy B one equal new boy B one dot C B one dot D. Mm-hmm. That is the concept of static properties and the non-static properties. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Next concept. To see. Next concept to inheritance. Next concept to inheritance. What is inheritance? Inheritance is the one of the concept. To, it is the one of the it is the one of the concept provided by java provided by java which is used for extending the parent class of two Inheritance is the one of the concept provided by Java, which is used for extending the parent class stuff to child class. We can extend the all the parent class properties to child class. We can extend the all the parent class properties to child class. Child class. For example, I am taking one class, father class. Father, he can earn money. He can drive car. I am giving two functions. Next to son. You can drink and smoke. <laughs> Already, I gave father n function, so that's the reason I gave mm -hmm. drink and smoke. Mm -hmm. I'm taking grandson. It is very child. So play and study. Don't know anything. Just like me. Play and study. <laughs> play and study. <laughs> 
so here you should remember only one thing only one line purpose we are learning this concept inheritance concept a extends b a extends b that means b properties will come to a a can get b properties a extends b means b properties will come to a a extends b means b properties will come to a so father having two properties no, 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 no. a properties will come to b right no 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 no, no. b properties will come to a a extends okay. b b properties will come okay. to a b properties will okay. come to a so father having two properties now i am writing son extends father what will happen son extends father father properties will come to son father properties yeah. will come to son so son can get four properties okay next so Black. just in the same okay. example mm. you see that a is father and b is son mm. um, all the father characteristics will come to son right right so, a, a extends b mm. means b properties will come to a b? okay a properties will come to b right? no, no, no no b properties will come to a don't confuse how come the son son's properties will come go to father no father properties will come to son okay a extends b just remember b properties will come to a okay, okay? next okay. grandson extends grandson extends son what will happen both of the uh, six will come to him Ah, uh, son properties four plus two six properties he can get. Mm. So mm -hmm. before going to this inheritance concept, first of all we should know how to manage different different classes. Just to just to before we discuss one concept that is the boy class. I have taken only one class, so I wrote function in class and I called from main method. I called from main method. If it is only single class, okay, we can do like that. But here is multi classes like father class different to son class different to grandson class different to, and we should call the all the functions from another main method. So we should create here four okay. classes. So before going to inheritance concept, how to maintain different different classes? First, we will discuss how to maintain different different classes. How to maintain different different classes? Today, first concept: how to maintain different different classes. Right? Go to Eclipse. So, previous example here we wrote four functions. Under class, we wrote four functions and we called from main method. This is different. But mm -hmm. today, now inheritance concept is different. So, first of all, how to manage different different classes? Just go to SRC. Take the new class. I am taking class name is father. I'm taking class name is father. Click on finish. I'm not taking any main method. I'm not taking any main method. If it is only single okay. class, we can take the main method. Now I'm taking only class. Click on finish. So here I'm writing function. Public void n n function I'm writing. SYSO control space father running next i am writing another class another function public white uh, drive white drive yeah. function bracket so required there. curling bracket SYSO control space father driving right. I wrote two functions. Save this. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to Sun class. Go to SRC. Take the another new class, Sun. Sun. Okay. I'm taking only class, madam. I'm not taking any main class. method. Just two only class. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Sun, you can drink and smoke. Mm. Drink, sun drinking. Smoke.
sun smoking sun drinking and sun smoking and one second go to src take the new class grandson grandson only class mm -hmm. play grandson mm -hmm. playing study grandson study, study. Yes. So I have taken different different classes father class son class grandson class yeah. now first take go to SRC go to SRC take the new class in here I am giving class to me is in here yeah. now keep the mark public start quiet menu click on finish Okay. So already declaration already finished. So there is no declaration. Directly we can call the functions. So I want to call the okay. father class functions from here. So I want to call the okay. father class functions from this class. How we can call? So already I wrote father class functions is non-static. So if it is non-static, what we need to do? If it is, if you want to call the static function from same class or another class, we should create the object object yes if it is non-static if it is the same function sorry if it is same class or if you want to call from another class we should create the object if it is non-static if it is in the same class or if it is from another class if you want to call the start non-static function compulsory we should create the object you should remember only one thing okay uh, so now we have to mm, create uh, the object create object or not yes we should okay. create the object how to create the object um boy boy one so father mm, father father one f1 one. f1 one. is it is equal to new father mm, yes father if equal to new father and, uh, yes, yes. f dot n n function you can get f dot okay f dot Drive, you can get. After drive, yes. Next, I want to call the sun class functions. Then, uh, sun s is equal to. Is equal to. No. Is equal to. Um, sun. No, new sun. <laughs> sun is equal to new sun. No. Sun s one no. equal. Sun S yeah, equal sun to S1 is equal to new, new sun. sun. Uh, S dot yeah. drink. S dot uh, drink and S dot smoke. smoke. Hmm. Next grandson. Grandson. Grandson G S is equal to okay, new grandson. Right. Uh, and um, so g dot play g dot play and g dot study over this is the concept how to yeah. manage different different classes how to manage different okay. different classes okay inheritance okay ah, mm -hmm. how to manage different different classes is finished so next we can apply inheritance next we can apply oh, inheritance okay, okay, okay. not at apply okay. here son can get only son properties only he can't get father properties end property will not come end property will not okay. come after applying end property will come apply mm -hmm. after applying inheritance now going to son and i am writing here son extends extends father what will happen now did we take new class again no 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 same sun class already two i wrote two functions okay okay yes, 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 yes. we wrote three classes ah, yes no no, no. we wrote three classes and one main function ah, main function class with main function class with yes. main method so, now yes. here so i wrote father what will happen 
Okay. Uh, all father stuff will come to son. Ah, right. So, save, yes, come to inheritance. Son can get uh, now s dot and s dot okay. drive. Drive, yeah. Okay, right. Now I'm going to grandson. Grandson extends mm -hmm. son. So grandson get four more properties. G dot R you mm -hmm. can get. Mm -hmm. G dot drive you can get. Mm -hmm. G dot drink you can get. Mm -hmm. G dot smoke you can get. Mm -hmm. So this is the concept of inheritance. Okay. Inheritance is one of the concepts provided by Java which is used for extending the all the parent class stuff to child class. We can extend the yes, all the parent right. class stuff to child class. Just mm -hmm. this practice this two session two two concepts. So